President Biden is set to meet with the top four congressional leaders at the White House later today. Multiple sources tell NBC News that his request for national security funding is on the agenda, including aid for Ukraine, Israel, and border security. It's been tied up for weeks because Republicans won't approve the funding unless it includes tougher border policies. And all of this comes as the Friday night deadline draws closer for Congress to pass a short-term funding bill to avert a government shutdown before the money runs out. NBC News congressional correspondent Julie Serkin joins us now. Julie, good morning. So big picture, they need to pass a short-term spending bill to avoid that government shutdown at the end of the week. Where do those talks stand right now? Yeah, hey guys, good morning. Well, last night the Senate took the first step to try and unlock some of those votes, begin that process to pass that stopgap funding measure. Now the House gets back today. You'll remember the weather affected some of the attendance yesterday where Speaker Johnson is going to have to rely on Democrats to get that measure through. And the same likely goes for the overall spending deal. You'll remember we kept talking about that $1.6 trillion number, the deal that Johnson struck with Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. A lot of his members unhappy about it, but he did say he's going to stick to the contours of that agreement. This stopgap funding measure gives them more time to process it sometime into March, sticking with those two deadlines again, March 1st and March 8th. So appropriators uh, doing the work behind the scenes to try and get all that done. Julie, let's dig in on the border deal specifically. Senate negotiators have signaled that there's been some progress, but House Republicans are standing firm on what they want. What could a compromise look like here? Is there any hope for compromise? Senate negotiators are still going back and forth over that provision of parole. You'll remember this is something Republicans want to restrict the presidential parole authority. This uh, grant, uh, this specifically applies to humanitarian parole. This is not only migrants from Latin America, uh, from South America. This is also from Ukraine, from Afghanistan. So this is really something that Democrats say the president should have the authority to do. Republicans, though, say there's no deal without that provision settled. Then you also have House Republicans who don't want to accept anything less than that partisan HR2 border bill they managed to pass last year. That would go nowhere in the Democratic-controlled Senate. But you mentioned that White House meeting happening later today. We're told that this will include not only the top congressional leaders in the room with Biden, but also those key committee chairs, where Ukraine is going to be a top focus. Because again, border is tied to Ukraine. That's something House Republicans put on the table. They're going to have to untie those two measures in order to get it across the finish line. And the Biden administration is going to stress how important it is to fund Ukraine at this critical time in their war with Russia. Julie, one more headline out of Capitol Hill I want to ask you about. Yesterday, senior lawmakers in Congress announced a bipartisan deal to expand the child tax credit, provide a series of tax breaks for businesses. So what's the benefit here for American families, and when could this go into effect? Well, this is a pretty big deal, and it's significant that it was negotiated in a bipartisan way. This would provide so much relief, particularly to families with children, because it raises that gap. The $1,600 that families were originally eligible for uh, per child, now they can take that credit up to 2000 over 2024 and 2025. That number is just going to go a little bit higher, and it's applicable to more than just one child. So this is really a lot of relief for American families, and it also is really for American businesses, taking us back to those provisions negotiated under then-President Trump in that 2017 tax deal, we have still to hear from some key Republicans and Democrats in the House and Senate when it comes to this deal, but there is a lot of support to get it done. There's a lot of measures they could potentially attach it to once this deal is final and settled, once everybody is buying, including the congressional leaders. We'll see if they can make that happen on some of those government funding deadlines, which would be before tax season in April. Guys. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.